What's up and welcome back to another kind of funny screencast live trailer reaction, this time to the first ever DCEU TV show, Peacemaker. I was about to say Peacekeeper. No, Peacemaker made his first debut back a couple months ago in James Gunn's The Suicide Squad. And now he's getting his own TV show coming this January, very, very soon to uh, HBO Max. Of course, we will be live reacting or reacting to all the episodes as they start coming out in January. But here we are now. I'm Tim Geddes, joined by the producer slash producer, Nick Scarpino. Very excited, especially as we're watching this first frame of this. I'm in. <laughs> yeah, honestly, that's all we really need. What and of course, this? we have the big dog, Kevin Coella. I, I really like the Peacemaker in uh, Suicide Squad. Mm -hmm. And uh, when when it ends and like we're like, oh, I guess he's uh, he's dead. The show must be a prequel. And then you see his little heartbeat thing go, and you're like, oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe not. I was like, you know what? It down. You I'm can't. fully invested. DC path. making some moves. DC making some moves. They're making moves, like baby. You know now, I mean? Kev, here's a move they're making that I actually really appreciate here. This show, written and directed by James Gunn. Like, it's, I, uh, last I heard, every episode uh, is at least mainly written and directed by him. So That's fun. Uh, pretty That's cool stuff. Sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get right into it. I, I also right. know a, a fun fact. One of Gia's... Uh, close friend's husband is an actor in this movie. So uh -oh. that's kind of okay. cool. Excited cool. to see him. Shout out to Gia's close friend's husband. Hell yeah. 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 Oh, right after, you know, right? You cool? Mm -hmm. What does mm -hmm. that mean? Truth is, you're supposed to be in prison. For what? Superhero stuff. What superhero are you? Peacemaker. Yeah. There's no superhero called Peacemaker. Dude, I'm famous. You're a born killer with expertise in every weapon on the human kind. I'm giving you the chance to stay out of okay. prison and work for me. Kill people. Oh, yeah, wow. People. This is hardcore. We are handling in the field. John Economist, Tech and Tactics. Oh, and oh that guy's a new recruit. Yeah. yeah. The day by you. You don't have to shoot people after you already killed them. Right. Who's the guy that's peeking out behind the trash can? <laughs> Vigilante, he's trying to be helpful. <laughs> Our first target is Senator Roiland Goff. Fucking eagle. Goff may be traveling with his family. Are you sure those two kids came out of those parents? That's an attractive couple, and that one looks like it came out of them, but the other one looks like a butt baby. A butt baby. Yeah, my older brother told me there's two types of babies, one that comes out normal, and then butt babies. Worse in every way, they come out of a woman's butt. No, I believed I was a butt baby until I was like 14. That explains a lot. I'm not get you, Nick. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. This what is so saying? weird. Hey, Deb. I did much, bro. I, I love it. Like oh, man. Yeah, is that his what real hair? That looks great. Like a maniac. Hey, no! No! That's because we're born killers. What separates us from other killers is we only kill bad people. Usually. Unless there's a mistake. You use being a jerk as a way to push people away. <laughs> you suck at PowerPoint. But if you would just drop that, people actually might like you. Yep, that's all we yep. Dad, grab my phone. I don't want to move. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. I'm, I'm so in. This looks, and I mean this in the best possible way, absolutely terribly fun. This is going to be a massive, massive waste of time, and I can't wait. I am pretty surprised by that. Like, I, okay, that was a three-minute trailer. I feel like every 15 seconds I went from, like, I don't know to oh I'm fucking in but right. the scene of him dancing shirtless I think I think's what just That's from then it. on set me where I'm like okay I'm just fucking in because him hugging the hawk or excuse me the, the eagle, the eagle hugging him the, the bald eagle hugging him the, the, the symbol of American freedom mm -hmm. and uh, the, the girl Nothing. kind of 
fighting him and smacking him against the yeah. like walls and shit. Like that's hella funny. This guy, he's just Deadpool, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah, I yeah. Guess? It's, it's, it's his, funny. his friend, right? Yeah, the vigilante, I think, is what they yeah. called him. I think it looks I, I think objectively this does not look great, but I think it's going to be fun. And so I'm gonna give this a shot. I love John Cena. I loved this character from Suicide Squad. I don't when they said they were going to make the show, I was like, I feel like in my brain, I was hoping it wasn't going to look and feel like this. And it does. Oh my god, the and eagle's there. The eagle is next to him. Never mind. Disregard everything I just said. Forget it. This is great. Nick, I'm surprised this butt baby speech didn't get you because the well, moment, you know what it is. The moment that they said they're like, oh, one of them's not as attractive. I thought that was gonna make you laugh. But then they said butt baby. I thought that was gonna make you laugh. Then they said it's a baby that comes out of a woman's butt. That didn't get you. And when John Cena said, until I was 14, I thought I was, I was a, a butt, butt baby. baby. <laughs> you know what it is? It's it's one of those, it's like the James Gunn humor. And and I've said this before, and I love James Gunn, but his style of humor is write 100 jokes with the thought process that 20 of them, or, you know, 20 of them maybe won't hit. No, dude, 69% of hit. them are good. Nice. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, I love him in this V-Box, by the way. Uh, I just like watching John Cena. I'll watch this. Right? I think it's going to be good. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, shout out to uh, uh, Robert Patrick here with the um, with that amazing hairdo. I think that's his name, right? The guy from Terminator like, 2. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Like, um, as his dad. Like, what a perfect uh, casting for, like, you know a what? tough asshole that, like, created him. Yeah. This Terminator lot, 2, the T-1000. All right. I love it. This reminds me, Kevin, a lot of the show that we talked about for a hot second and then we dropped off of, which was Amazon's The Tick. Remember that? Uh, we were I don't like, know the hell you're talking about. They canceled. That's why we stopped talking about it. Exactly. That's why we dropped yeah. off of it. But this, that's what this reminds me of. We're like, this is weird, and yeah. I don't think we necessarily need it, but I'm happy we're getting it. I think that the – so the, the only issue that I'm having with it is that everything has that like – everything looks like a set. Like it's, it's not like the, the production pristine. value is not exactly there. It's yeah, this, it's not unfortunately. like unfortunately. Yeah, and but like I'm okay with that because I think that the comedy is going to be there. Yeah, that's what I, I think it can work stylistically. Like, I think it can work. Yeah, it seems like I'm totally right there with you. Where this is definitely the most TV show looking superhero show that I've seen in a long time. But I'm okay with that because we we live in a world that I mean, in the last 30 minutes, we just watched the Batman trailer, the mm-hmm. Flash trailer, and now this. We also know Invincibles out there, and all the MCU shows, yeah. and the Boys. There is so much superhero content out there that anything that can kind of be unique and have its own vibe to it, I'm gonna I'm supportive of. And James Gunn knows how to be funny and he's making a comedy with this and i'm like from that extent this trailer made me laugh multiple times not all of it worked but i think overall i'm happy this exists and i'm not sure i felt that way going into this trailer so fair enough good for you guys yeah this bit did not work for me though i didn't like this this is this is a bad way to start this trailer and this actor is hilarious he's been in a ton of stuff um but this if i were cutting this i'd be like this piece of humor does not work in the way it's edited i would not have started with that but also, I don't, I, I, this needs to be three minutes long. This could have been a minute and a half long sure. trailer, but okay. But also, I, I, I don't, I don't love the reliance on this guy's costume because it, it looks very, very cheap, um, and it, it just doesn't scream production value for me. But whatever. When you say this guy, who are you talking about? Uh, uh, the guy, the Peacemaker? Deadpool knockoff. Oh, okay. Not Peacemaker's one. costume is purposefully cheesy. The other guy's costume looks like someone's bad cosplay. But, but I, um, I like you know. I could see them incorporating that into it where it like literally is a cosplay costume that he bought online because he's possibly some random yeah, vigilante. Possibly. that could um, definitely work. Also, I kind of feel like the the thing that we see in the beginning is the setup for what will be his arc throughout the whole story of like, no, I want to be a hero, you know, mm. and like. Uh, no, I like that. I, and I like wor- that. Aspect it, worked of it, right? for, it worked for me. I don't know. That, that, I do. That I, I like that. The, the B beginning. story of this whole thing is going to be about how he's got this facade up and how he has to sort of kind of be a little bit more personable and become an actual hero, not a vigilante. Mm-hmm. I like that difference between those two. And again, John Cena is fun to watch. He's, yeah. I think I, I, I hold fast to my theory that there are certain actors that unfortunately because of their like bigger physique and stature, never realize they're comedic actors. Mm-hmm. John Cena thankfully figured it out very early on and is able to use that fact that he looks like a freaking action hero, but he has the mentality and the delivery of a comedic actor to his advantage. And this mm-hmm. is a perfect example of this. Yeah, I will say to, to end this all out, let us know in the comments below uh, what you think of Peacemaker Outside You Are. Kev, if you could scroll forward a little bit to where he starts dancing. Yeah. Uh, it's taken a while. It's taken multiple videos. We've been trying to find our pleasure, trying to find our treasure, and there I just want you to know that I found mine. 
And there it is. There it is. Until next time, I love you all. Goodbye. <laughs>